previously on Danganronpa. Let's sausage hamburger beat! Mm. Oh man, I go for a cheeseburger right now. What about you guys? You guys want one? I'm going to Burger King! And now, back to the Academy. Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Danganronpa. When we last left off, I came to the conclusion that I think Yamada was still alive. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's Elise. But I'm just throwing that, I, I don't know for sure, but I... But I think I did, I did some pretty good detective work, I think, you know? And, you know, <laughs> assuming I'm right, of course, I, if I'm totally wrong, then it's probably not. Okay, before I continue, though, guys, I gotta say something that's really been bugging me lately. Um, a lot of you guys have, <laughs> despite the fact that I've, I've asked you not to, you're still, a lot of you are still posting spoiler comments, and... I really, I'm, I'm telling you right now, guys, I'm really sick of it, so, I mean, if you want to go ahead and post a spoiler that, a comment, sure, go ahead, I'm, we'll ban you, though, <laughs> and you will not comment anymore in those videos, um, I really am tired of it, it's, it's very disrespectful, not, not just to me, but to the people who will watch these videos, you know, so they want to go in, they want to comment on what their ideas are, and stuff like that, and then you got some jackass coming in saying, oh, yeah, the, the killer is this person, obviously, you know, it's, it's it's ridiculous, and I don't think it's too much to ask that people not do that. I don't care if you put a big thing header before it says, "Oh, big spoiler ahead." I'm sorry, but YouTube has. I mean, th there's no like spoiler thing. You can't hide your spoiler. So even putting that there, you can still accidentally read it. It's so. I mean, you know, just know that if you post it. I'm banning you. So that's. I'm not. I'm not even give a second thought about it. So. Anyway, now to the trial. Dude, we are running out of people now. Yep, there's just two guys left. Good lord. Yes! <laughs> well, I don't know. Sakura, this is kind of on the fence. Who <laughs> said her monocue was command? Get out on the side, on the side of the red door. After everyone had arrived. Ah! What the? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Times two! Oh! oh no! There's more than one of you? No, there's only one. I think it's all an illusion. You only think you see two. After me lies in the after image effect resulting from me moving back and forth at super high speed. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> T, can you tell which one is the real Monokuma? <laughs> can we get on the other one yet? <laughs> You're no fun times, too! <laughs> I, I have no intention of playing along with your childish games. Fine, you win! <laughs> okay, I don't mind him coming as crazy, but he still makes me laugh. Uh, dude, have you guys noticed that? Like, I'm seeing a lot of like, similarities between this game and Zero Escape. And that we got, like, we're all trapped in this, this place with a bunch of people. And we're all being, like, bossed around by some little cute and Some little cute... Uh, woodland creature, you know? You know, and it, I'm telling you, if it had been the but if I had, uh, didn't have voices for that, uh, that Zero Skate, I probably would have given him the Mickey Mouse voice, too. Hope you're all here, be my guest. The is all yours. Go, go on ahead and meet you there. Ah! Let's go. Wait a second. I'm not ready for this. I, I need to review my notes. I need a lawyer. Can I get a lawyer? There's no way way now, girl. You'll pay for what you did. Oh, Sheena, it's not him. I told you I'm not the culprit. Oh, yes, we're not able to find that other costume. What about the note? Nope, couldn't find anything. How unfortunate that I suppose that means it's settled. <gasps> no! Aw, <laughs> uh, I feel I do feel bad for him. Like, I mean, he's, he is a total doofus, but, like, uh, it's alright, man. We'll, we'll prove your innocent. This isn't a place for discussion. I believe the courtroom is set aside for that very purpose. She's right. We can talk in the courtroom. Yeah, I agree. That's right. I have to go to do this. Can't let Yamada and Ishimaru's murderer get away with what he did. Damn you, Megatron. You will pay. <laughs> I will haunt you, Megatron, in the afterlife. For those of us who are still here, for the two who are no longer with us. Dude, by the end of this, how many people are going to be left? Seriously, it's, it's like we're running out of people. So in this room, one of these eight people is a is a psycho. Killed two of my friends, murdered Yamada and Ishimaru. Let's go! Took a long deep breath and let it out slowly. <gasps> ah. Let's walk toward the elevator. 
Never gonna gotten on. I finally let out that fart I've been holding in. Uh, oh god damn it! God damn it, Noggy! Oh man, it's smelling like doo doo in here, dude. Oh my god. Oh, it's make it's making my money catch fire. The very door shut automatically and it begins to send to hell. Do, 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 do. Enveloped, enveloped in the elevator's deep mechanical rumble, we drew deeper and deeper into the darkness. There's no turning back now. So everything's been settled, all the cars are on the table, and we can't come back. For some time, after some time, the elevator came to a halt and opened its doors. The doors of a cruel, unforgiving face. <laughs> God, I am, I am a, like, I'm a real poet, aren't I? <laughs> oh, this, now this one looks quite a bit different from the other. Mm, you see? Seeing you all make, make, like this, seeing you all here like this makes me realize there's a few that are all left. It's like climax is just around the corner. Oh! <laughs> this is all your fault. Why you make us do this, dude? It's animal cruelty in reverse. <laughs> Whoa! How can you not like me? I'm just so gosh darn adorable. Sure, I sound like Mickey Mouse. Got the crap and get started already. Oh, I'll start all right. I'm gonna drag things out like a, with a jerk move, like a thrilling illusion after these messages. <laughs> so this is a show on the road. Go find the scene with your name on it after these messages. <laughs> Hi, are you tired of your old vacuum cleaner? We'll get the new Ord vacuum cleaner. It'll suck up everything in your house, including furniture, <laughs> furniture, your pets, your family. Hell, the whole, even the floorboards. Everything is gonna come up. It'll make sure there is absolutely nothing left in your house. Ork, buy it today. Okay, and we're back. Once again, the curtain rose. Try for life. <laughs> Try for life. Try for death. A deception of life and a treachery in death. Try for life and a treachery in death. The reasons of life and the mysteries of death. Just face your love and revelation of death. I faith in freaking doodle life and trust in death. <laughs> Shut up, Rocky. Good Lord. I'm the only one allowed to sing here. But Fast try to live, grass try to die. <laughs> like it feels like need to sing that every single time. <laughs> yes, I realize he's, sing he's thinking it to himself, but not <laughs> still. <laughs> it's like, dude, you are planning stuff out ahead of time, don't you? Okay, yes. Let's get some good stuff here. Slide increases the time limit of each phase. Yes, I like that. Do, 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 do. Increase the rate at which the concentration gauge recovers. Wow, actually, I'm actually almost out of SP here, so I might need more SP. Oh no, I don't have enough! Doubles the number of bullets or loaded with one button press. Okay, I'm keeping that one because that, I I want to get through the machine talk, gun talk battles as quickly as possible. Uh, doubles the number of bullets reloaded with one. I'm not even really sure what that means. Be be, it, be honest. Reduce the time required to convert someone else's. I don't know. That was kind of nice. I think. I don't. That would take too long. Uh. Maybe that one. Slightly increase the time. Of... Okay, maybe this one. Let me get rid of that one. Cause that one's, I don't know, I've never really, I've never had a problem running out of time, it's just more, I mean, I could pause the game and just think about it if I have to. Alright, let's make Machine Gun Talk Battle easier, I don't know what it is, but if it makes it easier, that's all I fucking care about. Alright, let's do this. Horror's now in session, bitches! We'll start with a simple explanation, you guys, what's the term of the trial's outcome? As if you haven't figured this shit out by now! Finger the true villain, all finger, and only the villain gets punished, but make the wrong acquisition, and everyone else gets punished, leaving your disabled to graduate free and clear, and everyone wants to die a painful death. Okie dokie, so, first on the agenda is, we know who the culprit is already. Oh man, look at her, oh dude, look at her, I didn't even realize her hair, like, gets like spiky on the end when she gets mad. Dude, like, I love, her like hair is like a little tail, like, it goes down, she's sad, gets up, or she's really angry, and, or she sees donuts and she gets like, sexually aroused. Oh! <laughs> Question mark? He has no alibi for the murders, disappearing bodies, and most dam damnly was found in that costume. No matter how you look at it, you're the culprit, Hart! You're a hero, okay? I'm telling you, I didn't do it! I was knocked out! 
Show your trap. <laughs> Show your trap, you filthy murder. Look who's talking, you diddle doodle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arco. Okay. Even, even, we even have evidence. The blueprints for that costume, man. The numerous parts like you used to construct it. And all this was found in your room. This is an unequivocal. But I don't, how do I say that word? Equiv equivocal. No, unequivocal. Yeah, that's it. Unequivocal proof. If you built the costume, dress yourself in it, and proceed to commit a long string of crimes. I'm telling you, I, I, no, 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 I know nothing. I know nothing. No. <laughs> Sorry, you're the culprit. Or it's the first thing that needs to be made clear. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Not stop to me. Justice Robot cast you, Matt Curry's message in the Justice Robot Blueprints. Okay, it's gotta be the Robot Blueprints, right? Okay, your room... Your room, give... Give us... Oh, wait. These blueprints, these raw materials... Help point to the... You being the culprit. I know nothing! No, 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 no. So let's get spares the end of the against me! No, 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 no. Why'd you kill my curry? <laughs> Just hold on a second, please! Oh, okay. So, yeah, and I. Uh, equivocal proof of Han Curry's guilt. Okay, I thought there was gonna be something else. Oh, Han Curry's message! The, that's right, uh, the, the message he. I, I, I wasn't really sure what he was. I thought he meant, like, what he was saying, but the, the message that he wrote. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! Damn it! There we go. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me, Nagi? Uh, Nagi mad! Nagi smash! Yes, still got an A, okay. Do you okay, really draw his blueprints? What are you trying to say? Look at this. This is the know-how career used to gather everyone after Alter Ego went missing. Compared to these blueprints, handwriting is clearly different, see? He's right, they don't appear to be written by the same person. He could have simply changed his own handwriting. No, the difference is too great to have been only a change in handwriting. Anyway, I'm not dumb enough to do something like at my like changing my handwriting at will. <laughs> and are you saying Hawker is not the culprit Nagi? It's not just Nagi, I don't think I don't think he is either. <laughs> Nagi, Nagi's like, What? <laughs> Look at you try, trying to help us for once. But then, who was Justice Robo, really? <laughs> Justice Robo. Are you saying Haku is riding someone else's war costume just like that? The identity of the madman. Answer her, Nagi. Yeah, just push it all on me, sure. <laughs> Come on, Nagi, answer! Answer me, what Justice Robo really my identity? So called madman, the only one who could have worn the Justice costume was. You, Ashina! What? Oh, oh, Haku. Okay, I was like. Hey. Our curry, it couldn't have been anyone else. The costume only fit him, and in the end, we never found another costume. So I was like, I was like, wait, is it an evil secret society? You, Sheena. Man, you're a dipshit. You know that, mermaid swamp. There's no mistake, then. Our curry was the madman. You're not making sense. Did you just say Hawker wasn't the culprit? It makes perfect sense. Our curry was the madman, but he wasn't the culprit. That's all. Which means, exactly, the culprit and the madman are not the same person. Say what? A stroke of genius. Do you have any any evidence just the madman is not the culprit? Of course I do. But first things first, there's something that must be made perfectly clear. So let's talk about that first. Hey, cut the dramatics and spit it out. Every everything has an order in which it must be done. So what is this matter you must make clear before we proceed? The method by which Shimara's corpse was removed. It seems certain things were used when his corpse was moved. Can you tell what? Tell me wh what those were, Nagi. Things you used to move Ishmar's corpse. Yes. Storage. Well, okay. First the. Uh, where is it? The freaking tarp. Yep, oh, there it is. There's that, and then there's one more. And that'd be the trolley. The trolley and the vowel sheet, right? <laughs> like, what are you, why are you gonna piss me? Ah, uh, no. Why do you click his tongue at me? Um, uh, let me explain. 
After Ishimaru's course vanished from the physics prep room, when we rediscovered it in the storage room, it was wrapped in vinyl sheet, right? Same vinyl sheet had been in the physics prep room. When the culprit moved Ishimaru's course from the from the prep room in order to not leave a trail of blood behind, he used only the vinyl sheets there in the room. I understand how the vinyl sheet was used, but what about the trolley? Well, you see, they left a trail. When we discovered Shamar's body in the physics prep, there was also a trolley in the room. When the body disappeared, so did the trolley. And later we found Shamar's course again, this time in the art, art room storage room. Eh, and me too! There's a trolley there too. In other words, you're trying to say the corpse was moved using the trolley. Are you sure you're not misremembering? Uh? Was the trolley actually in the physics prep room when Ishimaru's course was discovered there? The trolley is there to carry sculptures and the like in the art room, is it not? For it to have been in the physics prep room in the first place is unusual. Are you not mis just mistakenly assuming it might have been moved when it was in the prep storage room the whole time? There well, you have it, Nagi. Now how will you respond? Don't worry about it, Nagi. No one's expecting anything from you, man. Oh, fuck you, you dirty whore. I... Yeah, who's been solving all these cases? Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. Anybody? Anyway, oh, it's been me, this you fucking slut. It's common sense. You misunderstand almost everything you come across. I can't say anyone's ever said that about me before, but in order to wipe that mark off my reputation, I've got to provide evidence that the trolley was used to transport Ishimaru's corpse to the art room. Machine gun talk battles with new. El no, mach. Shit. Wait, machine gun. Is this? This is the. No! Why are we doing this right now? This is different than before, isn't it? Very well, let me explain to reloading. For oh no, here it is! Start with the machine gun. There are things that are... <laughs> things are starting to get more common. Great, because it wasn't more... It wasn't already obnoxious enough. I gotta really... I gotta add some more shit to it. Can I save? Damn it! <laughs> I should have saved... I should have saved before I... I've I, I realized that you, if you... If it gets to these messages or it's about to start something, I can't save yet, so I... Shit. Okay, starting with the machine gun talk about things getting more complicated. Your bullet count is displayed on the bottom part of the screen, below the tempo markers. Until now, you haven't had, haven't had any limitations on the number of assertions you can obliterate. And from this point, you simply cannot lock on and press triangle to obliterate assertions. Now, one bullet is acquired in order to obliterate one assertion. Try as hard as you'd like, but without bullets, you can't obliterate an assertion. By pressing square, you can reload and replenish your supply of bullets. As with locking on, you must press the square with the tempo markers. Oh my god, this is so obnoxious! I hate this fucking section. I'm sure, you'll want to warmly, I'm sure you'll come to warmly accept the square button, just as you have the siblings at X and the triangle. It's during fever time, your bullets will be fully suppressed and you won't expend any. Okay, well that's good. To decide, your action difficulty... Okay, you don't have to worry about... If you're merciful, then you don't worry about this shit. Other guys, <laughs> you're fucked. You're more than welcome to forget everything I've said up to now. Wish you the best of luck, over and out. God damn it all to fucking hell. Alright, Sleece, come on. Okay, hold on a second. Mission 2, that's gonna be fucking great. Oh, I fucking wrecked the shit out of that one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Check that, you slut. Ah! <laughs> yes. I'm the Lord. Machine gun talk battles. I rocked the fuck out of that. It's the first time I've ever gotten an A in one of those. Damn, I, for a while I wasn't even like, I wasn't even getting hit. I didn't even need my fever time. Oh, yeah. There is, in fact, evidence that shows the trolley was moved, you god dang dirty whore. Did I, why did I need to keep just throwing shit at her? Can I just. I could have just said that one thing, right? When I saw the trolley in the art room stores, there was blood on the tires. While I'm at it, why don't I save my game so I don't have to go through that ever again? Put on the floor in the physics prep room had those. 
had tracks that matched those tires. When the culprit moved, moved the body from the prep room, he must have accidentally rolled through the blood. And with the blood on the sole of the tires, he moved to the storage room. That's your evidence, but that the trolley was used to move Ishmar's body. She's like, shh! Ah! Ah, no! No! You set my drill here on fire! I'll fucking kill you! How do Elise is doing it? Do I rub people the wrong way? <laughs> well, Leon, this, this is nothing but a footnote. Let's make it back to the issue at hand, shall we? Yeah, you were saying just Robo isn't the culprit, but if the culprit isn't just Robo, which Robo, which Robo was it? <laughs> Asina, I think it's best you do not concern yourself with the robos. <laughs> <laughs> then let me spell it out for you. I'll explain why the so-called madman is not this instant's culprit. It should be readily apparent if we go back to just what happened when Shimano's corpse was moved. I'm the madman is not the culprit. It could be found what happened when the body was moved. What does he mean by that? Alright, now where are we going? Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Swords from trolley, blue robo blueprints, robo costume. All right, I think it's I think it's gonna be the storage room trolley. I should was killed in the physics prep room. Okay, that sounds all right. And then the move corpse. Uh, okay. You wrapped in a vial sheet. Wrong. No, I think that's right. Yep. Sorry. Uh, put it on the trolley. Okay. All right. All right. As I recall, the trolley doesn't have a handle. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. What do you mean without a handle? You can just bend over. Yep. And push the trolley without a problem. Right? And the culprit's final destination was the storage room. You understand now, don't you? The madman and the culprit are not one and the same. Nobody got nothing, dude. <laughs> Oh, okay, what did I miss here? Shamar's course using the trolley. There's nothing wrong about that. But could the madman have pushed the trolley? Just Robo. Oh, if he was in the costume, he couldn't push the trolley. Of course, it was so... It was because it was so, uh... Bulky. And a handle. My handle! Wrong! Wrong, Ashina! <laughs> Boobs! <laughs> What are you talking about? You talking about my boots? There, Nagi. Damn right I am. All right. You're not wrong saying by bending down you can move the trial without a handle. But could you really put yourself in that position while wearing that costume? What do you mean? Think about it. Back when we were spending where it mattered with the costume, and you <laughs> oh god, I love it. Oh man, this thing is not. <laughs> no one can see my cleavers with this thing on. I don't like it. I can't see anything. I can't even see my feet. I'm surprised me to walk around with this thing on. Like I said, it wasn't me, dude. What? What's up with this? Mech doesn't bend at all. That's pretty big design flaw. When wearing that costume, not only can you not see your feet, but you, your back can't bend either. Isn't that right, Sheena? Now that you mentioned, yeah. Oh, my sport of here is sad. <laughs> Being unable to win bends one's, one's back it would be indeed to be difficult to push a trolley without a handle. In which case, you could kick it. If you, if you couldn't see your feet, could you really kick the trolley to move it? Nope! Nope! I'm, I'm thinking not! Hell, I know her! Hell, hell if I know what you're talking about, though! <laughs> Plus, I have my doubts you could pull off even the, off the even more intricate task of wrapping the corpse in a sheet while wearing the restrictive costume. Couldn't you just take off the costume to move the body? No. It's not possible to remove it, it's just because... Of course, because once it's off, it never... When the song never comes off, you can't take it off yourself. Yeah. <laughs> a weakling couldn't take it off. It's hard to imagine you take off the costume just to move the body. I mean... <laughs> I can't take it off! I can't take it off! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> Would you? I'd rather you frame from building things you can't take off by yourself. I didn't build this thing! <laughs> Megatron kill. Plus, on the back, Pierce people find the friend of you take it off. Suck, so, still fairly tight as well. All right, I'll give you. Ah, uh, yes, the costume. The costume would neither put on nor move by one's own strength. Could he re really not have taken it all by himself? Aka wasn't just lying to us, was he? It wasn't a lie. <laughs> if he could take it off himself, he wouldn't have shown up still wearing it and still wearing a sign around his neck saying, "I did it." <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. It's true. Just probably really couldn't move that trolley. Which means the person who transported the corpse using the trolley could not have been Hal Curry. No, hold on a minute, please. Have you all forgotten about the photograph I took? 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I <laughs> Megatron! You've come back to kill me! Yes, I have not forgotten how you treated me during that last anime convention. I shall smash the. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were a sex robot. You will not be forgiven. You will die. Oh God! You've all seen, as I recall, the photograph of Yamada being dragged away by the map. The madman is not the culprit, then just what is it I witnessed? Further, we have testimony from Yamada himself, one of the victims. How'd you get those wounds? I was filled by him! By him? Justice Robo, I dubbed him such just moments ago! I totally didn't build him myself and plant this whole thing! As long as we have these facts, we can only draw one logical conclusion. The culprit is the madman Hog Curry, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, yeah, she's right. Yeah, yeah. her mind swap. I just go. I just kind of roll with it. Just whatever. It's too early to draw a conclusion. Besides, we don't have to cast our ballots right this time. The second, for that, we would be to our benefit to at least discuss some other possibilities. It's easier to see the truth when you look at things from multiple angles and bond yourself to one. But what specifically should we do? Let's try and go bang, going back over the sequence of events from the start. In doing so, we may uncover something new. Bah! What a pain in the ass! Our lives are on the line. A little bit of inconvenience is unavoidable. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sakura, you're awesome. Plus, we can use this opportunity to explain things for Kiyoguri so she wasn't there when it happened. Very well, then let's go back to the beginning. It started this morning. This morning it was only Ashina, Kiyoguri, Nagi, and I who assembled in the cafeteria. But as long as we waited, no one else came. Thus, we decided to search for the other students. This was That was around 8 a.m. Immediately after we split up, Kiyoguri, we were missing. Finding Salisa on the third floor of recreation, Ashina quickly recovered. Reconvened with Nagi and I. I've been attacked by a man. Lost consciousness for around an hour, which means I was attacked just in just about an hour before he found me, just after seven. No! <laughs> this victory just cracks me up every time. At that time, we learned from six photo. The madman is dressed in an unusual costume, Justice Robo, i.e. Megatron. Additionally, we discovered you might have been dragged off by that very same Justice Robo. We got on a search for the madman, but met with Fukawa and T -T Tagami, then found Yamada and Jiro to the library. After escorting Yamada to the infirmary on the first floor, we resumed our search. Then, just after we left the infirmary... Hmm. What is it? I saw, sh I saw a shadow there. There was a shadow moving at the top of the stairs. This is Lee's saying we all went to the second floor and split up to look for the madman. Not long after that... I saw the madman on the third floor and we should shout to inform everyone. What happens, Lise? It was around exaggerated crack of me. <laughs> Whatever it was. I saw him, the costume madman. When I, then I, when I shouted, he ran off. I saw face the opposite stairs. He turned the corner to the left to the end of the hallway. And yet again, just moments after that. I mean, it's so obvious, because it's like, she's the one who's found everything. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> huh? What? from downstairs, which means that scream. What's the matter in the infirmary? Oh! Crap, let's hurry! Da, 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 da. Alright. So we split in two groups. Selena, Sheena, Selena, Sheena, and I returned to the infirmary. Nagami, Tagami, and Fukawa went after the madman on the third floor. I've been slain! There in the infirmary, we discovered Yamada's dead body. And at the time, we heard the course of discovery announcement. Ding dong, ding dong! Was for Ishiwaru, not him, probably! Let's leave some Shia behind. Return to the third floor to report the bad news. However, at the same time, we just found Ishimaru's corpse in the physics prep room. Yamada's and Ishimaru's corpses were likely discovered at nearly the same time. I too heard the corpse discovery announcement immediately after we found Ishimaru's body. We now informed Ugami and Tayami about Yamada's, Yamada's murder, and the three of us then head to the infirmary together. Just we left the physics lab. Our surprise news from Zaliza that we were coming upstairs after me. Yamada's corpse has disappeared. We hurried back to the infirmary. Yamada's body was gone. After that, remember when we had forgotten? Kyle, we all went to the prep room. Did it just really? <laughs> Is this some sort of dream? This time, it was Yamada's corpse that had disappeared. We quickly set out to search for the two bo missing bodies. And then, after some time searching, I think Selyse had found the corpses. We all headed to the off storage room. And then, we rediscovered the two missing bodies. Me too, except I'm really dead this time. This everything that happened. I see, this incident is fairly convoluted. I don't think we all, well, 
don't think we should have much light by examining this as a connected series of events. Then what should we do? Rather than a series of incidents, let's try thinking of them as individual incidents. From there, you'll be able to see the contradictions in these incidents. Let's begin right away. First, let's start with Ishimaru. Trace the tooth of the case must, at all costs, recover the contradictions hidden in Ishimaru's murder. Contradictions, gonna save my game. Non stop to be. Here we go. Broken wristwatch, Monokuma file 3, high curry's message. Okay, hold on. Monokuma file 3, what, what did that say? Victims who both died as a result of blunt force trauma to the head. The Imperial have both been killed using similar weapons. That's not. I don't think it's what it is. I think it's gonna be. Broken. Oh, it's gonna be the broken wristwatch, of course. For you, Mata, I missed the first part. But what's it? What's it after? We know what order. Ishmael was killed later. Wrong. Why do you think that? Number on the just hammers. Mata was killed with hammer number three. Ishmael was killed with hammer just hammer number four. See, so Ishmael was always killed later. All right, so just I, I'm guessing it was the hammer one. This thing bugs me. Yeah, all right. Wee wee wee. Woo woo. Wrong. What? Don't scare me like that. What? What? Did, what did, did I pick the right? What? Um. Okay. That one. What? I'm really confused. I don't. I can't use your argument that what order it was, right? Oh, oh, uh, that is it, isn't it? I gotta use her argument. Say we know what order it was, and then shoot the justice hammers. Is that it? Ah, oh, yeah, that is it. Oh, that took forever. I'm redoing that. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I redid that. I'm sorry, but I, I fucked up so much I got down to like one heart, so... <laughs> I'm not, uh... I wasn't gonna take that one. How did I... What? How did I even get missed stuff for that? Like, <laughs> I got mi points off. I did it the first time around of it. How did I get missed points for that? The game knew I, I loaded it. I don't know. No, it's not necessarily the case that they were killed in the same order as the, hammer, the hammers were numbered. In fact, wouldn't it make sense if the culprit was just... That was all just a diversion by the culprit. If the numbers and the justice hammers were diversion by the culprit. In reality, K K Ishimaru was killed first, and Yamada was killed after that? If that's the case, could you present some evidence? The watch. The guy has something like that. Chris watch. Hmm. Here we go. Epiphany. Is it watch? Is that what it is? Yep. Yes. All right. Here we go. Wait, how do I, how do, I do this again? <laughs> is, is he... I, I forget about how to do some of these. Uh, shoot down letter. Okay. Yes. Now T. Na, 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 na. Give me a C. Give me an H. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! See, why am I getting like, why am I, why is my aptitude less? Seriously, I'm like kicking ass on that thing. That's right, Ishimaru's watch. Look, look at this. It's broken, and the hands were pointing just after six when it happened. It was like the culprit when he was attacked. It was like he broke when the culprit was uh, when he was attacked by the culprit. After all, when we, when we saw him last night. Oh, uh, Super Saiyan me. Hey, how long you playing a weakness week? Shimar looked down his wristwatch airily and raised his voice further. It's almost 10 o'clock. That's bedtime for all the good boys and girls. Little bo good boys and girls. Given his watch wasn't broken last night, there's no mistake he was attacked at 6 this morning. In short, there's the, that's the time Ishmar was killed. But if he was killed at 6 this morning, it happened much before Yamada was murdered. Even before Sleeps was first attacked, and a little after 7. Alright, so so far, everything is is going like what I, I what I saw. It's I mean, that's... uh. What I, what I, all what I thought. Yes, Ishmar's murder would happen before any of the others. We, we made the wrong assumption. Because of those justice hammers, we wrongly assumed the order of things happened. Carbon intentionally numbered the weapons and had them increase in science as well. So we assumed the incidents occurred according to the num hammers' numbers. F 
Furthermore, for years, if we assume Mishmar was murdered just after six, then nobody has now fought for his murder. Reason, be reason being, it was murdered before we met him in the cafeteria. Indeed, that is the case for Mishmar's murder. But everyone has an alibi for the time Yamada was murdered. Oh yeah, when Yamada was killed! Yeah. Eh? What? Came from downstairs, which means that scream. It's my infirmary. Crap, let's hurry back. Crap, let's hurry back. Hurry back. We heard your mom screaming in the infirmary. Everyone with a pound curry and kick over there. After that, we rushed down the infirmary and saw Yamada's corpse. It's true, we've got alibis. I've got it. The government recorded this. Recorded the scream of the tape recorder. I'm playing it back later, dude. And where's this tape recorder? Beats me. <laughs> you don't just be wearing anything that comes out of mine. In any case, we, when we heard you out of scream, we all clearly had alibis. Which means nobody was there. Nobody who was there with us could have killed Yamada. Not just Yamada's murder either. The subsequent disappearance of the corpse is the same. The corp when Yamada's corpse disappeared from the infirmary, she and I went were there, which were together in the restroom, and everyone else is in the physics room, yes? It was the same with Yamada's corpse and disappeared from the prep room. At that time, we were all gathered in the infirmary because of the disappearance of Yamada's corpse. And I was all by myself, shaking like a baby in the physics prep room. <laughs> Then couldn't you just have moved Ishi's corpses? If she had relocated Ishimaru's corpse, she couldn't have moved Yamada from the infirmary. When Yamada's corpse went missing, she was still unconscious in the prep room. Of course I didn't! I didn't do either of them! Ah! <laughs> in short, none of us gave a look at it. Hefkin committed mur Yamada's murder in relocating the corpse. Oh yeah, another way. Only Hakuri or Kiyogiri, Kiyogiri who were unaccounted for could have done it. What, what now, Kiyogiri? This... This conversation's just going in circles, trying to decide who who done it. <laughs> who done it? So rather than who did it, how about we try thinking about how they did it? I believe the method by which Yamada's course was moved is of particular importance. Yeah, I agree. As much as I searched, I could never find an answer to how his body was moved. What's more, according to Elise. Yes, but he was only out of sight for a minute. The culprit moved Yamada's. Culprit moved Yamada's body in the span of one minute. That would be the case. Apparently his body disappeared in the span of a single minute while Selyse and Sheena were away. But to move a body that large from the first floor to the art storage room on the third floor... No matter how you look at it, dude, that just ain't possible, dude! <laughs> if I were to say there was a way to make the po impossible feat pos possible... What? How? <laughs> I swear to hell, I got a question mark on it! Having the course to move itself... <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> da, da, da. Nobody saw that coming except me! Huh? You mean the corpse can move on its own? <gasps> Another ghost! No, 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 I'm not talking about the supernatural. What the woman's trying to say is, there's a possibility that Yamada, whom we believe to be dead, was actually alive. He was alive? So Yamada was not transported from the infirmary, but moved himself with his own legs. My god. What does that make the, the corpse we saw in the infirmary? That was him pretending to be dead. That's not, not possible. Is it really possible that Yamada was actually alive? Dum, dum, doo, doo, doo. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ooh, ah, ah. Forget Mr. Watch. Prep room blood stain. Uh, it's Lisa's testimony. He's the puzzle he was first found. When he first found the movie, he's still alive. No, it couldn't be. Mother was without a doubt dead. It's Lisa's testimony, maybe? How can you be sure? Um. My was course finished, at least had stepped in the out of the infirmary and were in the bathroom. The body was only out of sight for a minute. You heard the course announcement too. That is, it was made because we discovered Yamada's corpse. What else could it have been? Is that really so? Someone else's corpse triggered that moment. Time only one course of analysis was made. Yeah, okay, so. Uh. Like, I know what it is, but at the same time, it's still like. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, I got it. He was alive. That's. Hold on, let me, I gotta think for a second. Can I. Can I. If I take. Can I take her argument, maybe, and. And use that against him? Is that possible? Oh, I can do it. Okay, so if I loop back around. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Ugh! Oh, that's interesting. So, I actually, this time I really had to wait for it to loop back around in order to do it. Oh, hell yeah, I even got a hundred. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter how much... Well, I, I actually had quite a bit of time remaining, so... But okay, cool. Ooh, I'm proud of myself for that one. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Was the course from discover this course discovery announcement actually triggered by the discovery of Mata's corpse? Of course it was. We heard the announcement immediately after finding Amato's corpse. But the people who found Ishimaru's corpse experienced the same thing. He's exactly right. We heard that announcement immediately upon discovering Ishimaru's corpse. What I'm saying is, aren't we confusing Ishimaru's corpse discovery announcement for Yamato's corpse discovery announcement? Yes, exactly. Had two corpse been discovered, there should there should have been two announcements. I imagine Monokuma was just being lazy, combining them with, into a single announcement. What do you have to say about that? I don't want to step on anyone's toes, so I can't go into too much detail. But I'll tell you this, of course, discovery announcement. Only occurs when three or more humans first discovered a dead body. It doesn't tell us anything, dude. We want to know if you were lazing out, out on us. No, that is more than enough. Oh? <laughs> we, he said it only happens when we, fir when we first discover a dead body. Which means no matter how many times we discover the same body, multiple announcements won't be made. That being so, we... What triggered that course for discovery announcement? That one! Which one? Over the course of the day, we heard the course discovery announcement made twice. The two, the, there were two course discovery announcements. The one first happened when we first discovered the bodies in the infirmary in the prep room. And the second one... When we rediscovered the bodies. Yep. The second course discovery announcement was made when we rediscovered the bodies in the storage room. Because he had actually been killed that time. I got a corpse for Hell Glass Trail Brazil! By the time I didn't pay attention. I didn't pay attention. Uh, bleh, didn't pay the announcement much mind, but that isn't. But doesn't that contradict what Monokuma told us? If they're only made the first time the bodies found, we wouldn't have heard one when we rediscovered them. Then of course it has to be. What we thought. What we thought was us rediscovering the corpses was, in reality, discovering one of them for the first time. Was simply then, when Yamai was found first found in the infirmary, he was not yet dead. We discovered his corpse in the true sense of the word, the art storage room. But that's not all. There's even more evidence suggesting Yamai was still alive in the infirmary. Yep, the glasses. Evidence? Well, I know all about that! He was good at playing dead, that's all the evidence you need! But hardly call that something so insignificant evidence. As expected, there's no, there's just no evidence that he was actually alive. And in that case, let's go over what's more the condition of Yamai's body. I'm certain it's all clear to you that whether he was alive or dead. I doubt anything will, co will come of it. There's definitely evidence that Mom's alive. Just need to show everyone. Sh show it to everyone. Yes, it was the it was the glasses or the the gl glasses cleaner or the fact that maybe his glasses had been wiped off. Yep, Mom's glasses. Ding dong. First discovered the corpse. It was in the infirmary. While, while, while Selyse and I were in the restroom, the body disappeared. And it was next discovered. In the art, in the art, room, art storage room. Before he was moved and after he was moved. Aside from his orientation. WRONG! Oh. Nothing Oh, uh, no, no, there it is! Boom! Oh, uh, I'm glad I got that first one right. <laughs> uh, wrong. Wrong, bitch. I don't really get what the aptitude thing is exactly, but whatever. Maybe wasted shots or something. There's a, there's a blatant difference between Yamada and the infirmary and the one in the art storage room. His glasses! And there should be more enough evidence to show that Ma Yamada was playing dead in the infirmary. Would you mind explaining yourself? Explain yourself. Eh, I'm dead! Or am I? When we first Yamada found Yamada's body in the infirmary, his glasses were covered in blood. When we found him in the art storage room, his glasses were clean. Furthermore, I found something in the infirmary's trash that I can believe was used to wipe off the blood. It was I need. The thing found in the infirmary was the stupid this thing. <laughs> found a glass cloth in the infirmary's trash can. From the blood stain here on the cloth, we deduced that the glass cloth was used to wipe the blood off of Yamada's glasses. On top of that, the character on this cloth is the same. That's the one on that digital camera, see? Digital camera Yamada brought with him. 
Princess Puka, hooray, 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 super squishy princess, right? <laughs> super squishy friend. That's just, uh, it cracks me up. Can't imagine anyone other than Yamada would have had a glass cloth like that. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Does anybody have any idea what that show is, even is? <laughs> the only people who wear glasses are. I, I wouldn't be caught dead with that flipping filth. <laughs> <laughs> Tissue's all I need to get my glasses clean. Or a sexual object. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. This glass cloth belongs to Yamada. I see, I see. So where does that put us, dude? What it means that Yamada's glass glasses cloth was used to clean the blood off his glasses. But even so, that doesn't necessarily mean he did it himself. Think about a second. What benefit is a clean pair of glasses to ex to accept the person wearing them? You make a fair point. So Yams really did do it himself. In which case, that means Yamada was still alive when we found the name Fumi. And after using his own glasses cloth to wipe the blood from his own glasses, he left the room on his own two legs. The formerly impossible task of moving your mouse just doesn't seem so impossible anymore, does it? But if you just plain dead in the infirmary... Eh. Where'd all that blood come from? Could it have been for, could it have been pain or something? The infirmary's retreat for... Oh! Oh! That's where he got... I thought... I was like... I was kind of wondering that too. I was like, so what did he do? Did he fake his own injury? Did he... I mean, like... Did he like smack himself in the head or something? That would that seemed a little ridiculous. Or did he like take blood from Ishimaru's corpse? But oh, he so he took it from okay. The infirmary's refrigerator is stocked with blood for transfusion. All likely that's what he used. I'm guessing he went way overboard, splattered that blood everywhere when he was getting ready. That's, that's why I need to clean his glasses. Oh, you're oh you're such a diff. You're, you're such a ditz, iffy. <laughs> Furthermore, the model was alive at the time. You could also explain the difference between Ishimaru's corpse. It's obvious now who moved this his corpse. The one who moved Ishimaru's corpse was was uh Shimada, right? Yes. Okay. Yamada did it, didn't he? So while we we're all gathered in the infirmary, he was moving Ishimaru's from the physics prep room. If that's the case, we can also explain why this art room storage room was door was locked. Storage room was locked. After the two guys did buys didn't appear, we all went searching for them, right? Well, me and Saka went straight to the art room then, and the door to the sword room was locked. On top, on top of that, the doors, lo doors locked, such that it can only be set from the inside of the storage room. In other words, you, when Ashina and Ugami were in the art room, someone else was inside the storage room. Which would mean that you, that was Yamana, just after he fi was f after he finished transporting Ishimaru's body. By faking his death, Yamana was able to slip under the radar and bring Ishimaru to the storage room. I mean, he wasn't simply a victim, is it? Is a sense, but a perpetrator. But to think one of the victims would himself be involved in the crime? No way! I, I don't believe. It's that hard to believe, and I can show you another piece of evidence. There's still more, dude. Yes, the most conclusive evidence of Yamada's involvement has yet to make an appearance. You know what it is, don't you, Nagi? The item Yamada stole from the victim is Shimara. Uh, the note. Still, so, what does she mean? A crumpled up note. Behold! You're talking about the note Yamada hidden on himself, aren't you, Kigari? Hidden on himself? <laughs> Found it hidden in his under <laughs> in his underwear. <laughs> right next to my weenie! <laughs> I'm investigating his body. Inside! His underwear? That's kinky, dude! <laughs> his underwear, I see, of course. The one place none of us would have thought to look. <laughs> <laughs> but he, the whole underwear business aside, <laughs> I like the look on Nagi's face when he does that. How about we take a look at what the note says? Found a hole like a secret path. Can't see the outside. Probably way out. We bad find Monokuma found out, so don't talk to anyone. Meet in the physics prep lab at 6 a.m. Ah, oh, that's the note I was telling you about, dude. Takoma learned me outside using that. Hold on a second. They're quite the same. The note I said got maybe bad find Monokuma found out. Meet me at the rec room at 1 a.m. That's right. This is this is a completely different note from the one you received, Hakure. Completely different. Blah, 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 blah. I'm saying, in addition to Hakure, one other person was called out by the copyright. The other person was Ishi freaking Doodle. <laughs> you, did you say Yamada's underwear? Was that one? <laughs> okay, that is fucking hilarious. What if I? I wish I kind of wish I had gone back and said that. Just so. We, what? Obviously, the most logical conclusion is Yamada's underwear was called out that night. <laughs> we uh, we all know how gullible he is. <laughs> 
Of course, my underpants! Why would you betray me, underpants? Why? <laughs> yes, it was Ishimaru. The person who received this note was the deceased Ishimaru. Um, objection, objection! I'm not sure what you're getting at. Did he say Hiffy had that? And that means it was Hiffy, not Kitty, who the note was summoning. <laughs> uh, my Kitty, you mean it's your Mario, and by Hiffy, you mean your Mata, right? No shit, Sherlock! You don't need to explain every little thing! <laughs> Dex just said I can be downright terrified. But I can't back down now. I give up. <laughs> Let me save. It was the rip, it was the ripped piece of paper in his hand, so. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't get it predicting when this <laughs> when we're about to do something. Broken glasses. Who found you? Mata's flat. Wait, 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 wait. Broken wristwatch, plate glass cloth. None of those things are there. Who found sheet? No. Mata's glasses. No. Wait. Uh. We had a Ishimaru scrap of paper. How about that? That's what I want. Watch him. That one. I don't know. That's a broken wristwatch. It was obviously Hiffy! Oops. The contents of the note. What time did the note specify the note? Six in the morning. Who cares what time it said? It has nothing to do with a kitty! I want you to know there's a hint somewhere in there. I can feel it. Okay. So, all right, uh, uh, I gotta use her thing against it. Contest the no, blah 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 blah. Get out of my way! Boom! Okay, maybe not. Fuck! This is turning such a mix we want to do yet, but I have no idea what you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Okay. uh... Oh, his watch. His, wa his broken wrist watch. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Arrgh! Wrong, slut. Wrong. Uh, oh, it's still, still an A. Alright, cool. Works for me. No, they are connected. Huh? What you eating me on about, kid? What you talking about, bitch? Meeting time mentioned in this note was 6 a.m., which is the same time Ishimaru was killed. And his wristwatch showed us. And that's not all. There's also the meeting place specified in the note. The physics prep room. Oh, uh, yes. That was when Ishimaru was murdered. In other words, Ishimaru was killed at that, at the time and in the place given in this note. Isn't that sufficient evidence that Ishimaru was intended recipient of this note? I see. That's how it was. No objections. Gah! So which was deceived by the note just like me. I mean... I, I, I don't get why we're not pointing out the fact that he's got the piece of paper in his hand. Go under the phone and call on it up. I believe a human dude blowing us to temptation with outside. But hold on, why do you mind not have it? No, the fish and is the recipient. And in his undies. Oh, that's because he probably from Ishimaru's dead hands. What? He took it? <coughs> what, is, what evidence do you have of this? Go on, say it. Uh, okay, here we go. The evidence, I have no evidence. Absolutely none whatsoever. We're never gonna be able to figure this out. There it is. When Kitty and I were investigating Shamar's body, we found a scrap of paper clenched in his hand. If my suspicions are correct, then the torn part of the, this scrap of paper, <coughs> just as I thought it matched the note you might have had. The scrap of paper Shamar was holding on, and you might was hiding. Exactly, they're both on the same sheet of paper. Shamar held a fragment of the note he supposedly received when he might have possessed the remainder. There's only one one way to explain the situation. Ishimaru died with the note held in tight in his hand. Yamada attempted to rob him of it. Mistakenly left a corner of the paper in Ishimaru's grip. Is that what you are suggesting? In which case, that means Yamada knew the note was an important piece of evidence. Yes, and, and that in itself is evidence of Yamada's involvement. I I see! The stars are all aligned to it, there's no question. Yams was inextricably involved in this incident. In essence, Yams is alive right now, and he's a cobra dude! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so stupid! <laughs> no, that can't be. Ma was definitely dead when we found him in the art storage room. The second course announcement, discovery announcement we heard serves as a testament to that. Then who killed Yamada? The true culprit. 
was likely murdered when we found his about their bodies in your storage room just after removing the Ishimar. Then he was murdered in the span of time between the Ishimar's disappearance when we found the bodies. From that time, we'd all split up to search for the missing corpses. Which is to say, nobody has an alibi for Yamada's murder. Me and Saka were together! Have a little shame, would you, you fat, fat, fatches whale? <laughs> Who you calling fat whale? <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, but these, these boobs are all natural, baby. All freaking natural. Mm. Anyway, dudes, we have a time of death is an issue, but we got an even bigger problem than that. An even bigger problem, you say? What kind of weapon was used to kill Yams? Weapon? I mean, look at this, the medical professors. Ish and Yams had their heads split open in a similar way with similar weapons. But dude, just Summer and three were left in the infirmary physics rep room, you know. Yep, see, this is what I was saying. It was used as the hammer on the wall in there. Yams was, was killed in the arm, but wouldn't that be the culprit went back to get one of the hammers off and return to the hammer to the room I came from? But isn't that a bit too risky? No, I'm very surprised. You actually got something other than air in that skull of yours. <laughs> I love you, no respect to the brim, dude! With hair! <laughs> oh, Curry is correct. That does indeed impose a problem. Monokuma found says that two of them were just killed with similar weapons, but Hammer 3 and 4 remained in the rooms they were originally found. How do you propose the culprit went about carrying off one of the hammers? I can't even imagine a possibility. And what about just as Hammer 1 or 2? The ones using attacks least in your body? They two remain in the rooms we found them, and anyway, they don't look like they have lethal force. Oh, Nina! Isn't it possible something else was used as a murder weapon? There's no way to commit anything else! They were killed with similar weapons! In which, case, in which case, what was the weapon used to murder Yamada? Unless we can figure figure out what, what was actually used to kill Yamada, we'll never be able to reach the truth behind these crimes. No! I'm never gonna figure it out! I'm doomed! We're all doomed! We're doomed! <laughs> Just kidding. I know what it is.